I went to a party, and when I got there, everybody was a grown-up, and I don't remember being afraid, I just, I do remember noticing it. But I was in fear right away, and then, you know, I flirted with somebody, and I got in a cab with them and left, and they gave me to the guy down the hall in another room. He pimped me and had people come to the apartment for quite a while, and then they taught me how to go out and stand on the corner and pick up guys. That's how I got in. I, I never asked for it. That warped a lot of stuff after that for how, you know, how my brain would think and function and trust or not trust. And just in being in homeless advocacy in teens, I've learned that a person's brain isn't developed to well over 20. So I really had my head warped a lot. They stole another girl off the street and they brought her to the house and she convinced me to escape with her. I do remember like the little bit of the questions in the interviews and I don't know if it was one day or more than one interview but I don't remember ever being connected to like any of the psychotherapy kind of help people. Both the other girl and I went to the hospital together but then after that we didn't see each other. My life just was horrible. I don't even think I knew how horrible it was. It just, that's just, you know, this is it. I end up um, being a go-go dancer. I end up stripping for many years. A kid making all this money. Started shooting heroin. I was just spinning crazy. I came to Maine. I had two children. I had post-traumatic stress disorder. I had disassociation. Um, high anxiety and I wasn't paying my rent. It just kept getting worse and I did end up in the shelter. What happened to me back then did affect my life today. I didn't want to admit that. I didn't want that to be true because then that meant they won and I lost. It was the path to get the different kinds of help I needed. I needed a lot of help. And back then when I was having this help, there was way more availability of these services. They weren't so hard to access. I, I had excellent case management, excellent psychotherapy, excellent group therapy. I had a, a payee that was awesome. I never felt ashamed or embarrassed. You know, that's not like today. It's very difficult to access really good case management, really good psychotherapy, groups, you know, women's groups to talk about these things. I just had so much help. So if you get the right help, you can, you know, get better.